and the energy industry relying heavily on machinery to run its operations, part of the shale boom, but they are also prone to malfunction. One company believes that the solution is by applying data science to everything. Uptakes President Ganesh Bell joining me yesterday at the Sarah Week Energy Conference to talk a little bit about AI for energy. Let's watch. Ganesh, go ahead and explain to me what Uptake is doing at Sarah Week, what your messaging is, and what you're looking to get out of this conference. Um, first of all, Uptake's a industrial AI and IoT software company. And uh, we start with the belief that we can actually apply data science and machine learning to all the machines in the industrial world, so we can build a world that always works. It was a simple idea, and from there we've gone on to like 10 plus industries, and now we're seeing actually the growth. This conference is a great uh, example of that. I've been coming here for five plus years, and uh, now we have an Agora session, which is all about the tech hub, and it's actually growing to the size of the main conference. And two, three years ago, that wasn't there. And that's an indication of the fact that this was being moved from just a conversation or an idea of how do you apply software and analytics to actually how do you actually reimagine. In fact, I talk about it as software is recoding the world, AI is recoding the world, and the biggest value to get is out of the industrial world. Okay, AI definitely recoding the world and, and we're talking about it in so many different industries. But try to break down for my viewers how it actually would impact and function within energy. That's great. So if you think about the industrial world, it's full of big, important, heavy assets, whether it's uh, submersible pumps, artificial lifts, or gas turbines, and big assets. But along with those big assets, there's a lot of small assets, pipelines, actuators, valves, pumps, inverters, and a whole bunch of things, whether it's solar, or wind turbines, or gas turbines, or oil and gas fields, right? They are rich in assets, and all those assets generate data. Think of it as, you know, just like we post status on Twitter or Facebook, we only do it when we feel like it. Whereas these machines are posting statuses reliably every second on an invisible network, if you will. And if you think about that asset graph, that's what we can learn from, and we can now make predictions on when machines are about to fail, so we can prevent them from failing, and then we can reduce the unplanned downtime, and therefore reduce O&M costs. But more importantly, as we start building these systems where they're learning from all of the operational data. So we at Uptake, for example, have a million plus assets on our platform. And our machine learning engines have learned from over 1.2 billion hours of operating data. Now we can make better predictions, better insights. And from that, we can actually optimize the entire business. Okay, so I, I understand that aspect of it, um, but there are a lot of critics out there who would say, while efficiencies are increased, they can't discount that fact. They would also say um, AI takes the place of human beings. It takes and replaces jobs. That's, uh, that's yes, that's a, a common misconception uh, with AI and machine. When we talk AI, we're really not talking broad AI. We're talking about machine learning applied to specific use cases. Today, in almost all the industrial world, the amount of data, we're data rich and insight poor. Mm -hmm. And machine learning just helps us process all the data. Humans can't process petabytes and terabytes of data a day. That's what machine learning does. So it's doing things humans are not doing. But it's also actually making safety better uh, in terms of all of these industries, whether it's climbing a uh, tower pole or so on. And also, in all these industries, we have an aging and retiring workforce. So we're now able to capture all that knowledge in algorithms. So over time, some of the best operators in all these industries is also an algorithm assisting human skills. So our belief is that human skill will be augmented by artificial intelligence, but over time, yes, we do see things like autonomous uh, oil fields, autonomous uh, power plants. Those will happen, but the humans will shift to other parts of the value chain. Final question, um, if a company is looking to invest in AI to make it part and integrate it into its um, industrial operations, as you mentioned, um, you know, it, what kind of investment does that require? Uh, actually, the investment that requires is very little. They, they are going to get massive outcomes. In all the industries that we're talking about, it's oil and gas or energy, there's about trillions of dollars of value to be unlocked over the next decade just by deploying machine learning analytics. And so the business cases actually fund themselves. The biggest thing that people need is a belief system that they've got to head down this path. Because if companies don't invest and learn from the data of their operations, we believe that they will be cataclysed. As in, over the next decade, they won't exist. Okay, Ganesh, great to see you. Thanks so much for stopping by and, and giving us some insight onto a very, you know, the budding aspect, basically, uh, one of them for the energy industry. Great to see you. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay.